cases of AIDS in El Paso County. In that same period, there have been 35 to 40,000 cases of other types of VD. In tonight's Med 5 report, Dan Munson has some warnings about other sexually transmitted diseases. The testing is done daily for about 30 different venereal diseases. Six or seven of them can be very severe. But we're forgetting gonorrhea and we're forgetting chlamydia, not we, the health department, but people, and they cause serious reproductive tract damage and also to unborn children. Because of the emphasis for the last couple of years on AIDS, attention on gonorrhea, syphilis, and even herpes has waned. But the diseases have done anything but gone away. In the last 10 years alone, we've had two different uh, mechanisms on the part of gonorrhea to defend itself against medicine. It's learned to uh, outfox penicillin and two other antibiotics. And there's nothing that says that five years from now it can't learn to outfox all of them. And the problem is many of these strains also have learned to become less symptomatic over time. So that if the disease doesn't proclaim itself through symptoms, how does a person know? Right? So the best way to defend yourself is not to get the disease in the first place. So the best advice is to protect yourself and others. These posters in the health department push condoms. Potterat says the response has been very positive. We also have the responsibility to think about the partner we're having sex with. We, not just to defend old number one, but we have a responsibility to our fellow person. And the reason that I personally advocate the use of rubber condoms is not because of AIDS. Among heterosexuals, I'm advocating it is because there are other viruses out there that they're very susceptible to, and they can cause things like cancer. You know, why not avoid it if you can? Format 5, Dan Munson, Eyewitness News.